What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm showing you the best settings to export videos for Instagram in Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro, now the first thing to note is that Instagram only allows up to one minute, minimum three seconds. So you can see this video right here goes all the way up to nearly five minutes. Now what I'm going to do is shorten this all the way down, of course when you're doing it maybe just pick out the best clips. And this video is now 41 seconds so that can go on Instagram. Now the first thing I'm going to be changing is the sequence setting. So I'm going to head over to sequence, sequence settings, and the editing mode is currently set at custom. I'm going to change that to DSLR. The time base, I'm going to leave the same for now, and same with everything else. I'm going to select OK, select OK. And now what I'm going to do is come over to file, and export, and media. So the format I recommend is H.264. The preset, we're going to change to custom. And from here it says output name, select it. I'm gonna save this to my desktop, call it what you want it to be exported as. So I'll just put IG underscore Rio. And um, then export the video. If you don't want the audio, uncheck it. But of course, if you want audio and video, check both. Now when you come down, you can see we have these things right here. The only ones we're gonna be changing are video and audio. So for video, I've just minimized this. For video, what we're going to be doing is changing the width. Now, you cannot have a 1920 by 1080 video on Instagram. Now, make sure this is unchecked so it has a cross through it. Then, for the width, you're going to change it to 640. For the height, you're going to change it to 360. And you can see that's made it normal widescreen, and this is going to be the widescreen for Instagram. Now, for the frame rate, I believe Instagram only supports up to 30 FPS, which is this one right here. But for me, I'm going to be picking 23.976. Um, that's the one that most movies use as well, for those that don't know. I'm going to leave that as square pixels. The profile, you want to make sure it is set to main. The level, we're going to change this to 3.1. And you can see, once we change that, the width will change again. We're just going to put that back to 640 by 360. Then make sure render at maximum depth is checked and then come down and you can see we have the bit rating encoding. Now I'm not going to get into detail about this, maybe in another video if you are interested I will. But make sure VBR 2 pass is selected and now we come to the target bit rate and the maximum bit rate. Currently the video file size is 71 megabyte. Now that's a very big file for a 42 second video and of course we want it on Instagram so that's not going to happen. We're going to turn the target bit rate all the way down and we're going to turn the maximum bit rate all the way down as well. Now you can see just like that I've lowered it to this and we've got a 13 megabyte file now. Now when doing this if your video is longer it'll probably be a bit of a bigger file size and I do recommend going to a maximum of 25 megabytes. If it does get too high then turn down the target bit rate and you can see it will go down again so this is now at 6 megabyte but preferably 25 megabyte and below is the best. Then we're going to be changing the audio up here. All we're going to be doing here, where it says the sample rate, we're going to change this to 44, 100 hertz. And then for the channels, we're going to change this to mono and everything else is good enough here. Now what you can do, so you don't have to come back to my video all the time to come and find these settings, where it says preset, select this save preset button. Call it what you want to, so maybe just Instagram, because then you know it's going to be the Instagram preset. Select OK. Then next time when you come to render, make sure the format sets to H264. Uh, then where it says preset, just select that drop down menu and then look for Instagram because that's what you named it or whatever you named it. From there, I'm going to be changing the time interpolation to frame sampling and I'm going to select export. So of course, the next thing is how do you get it across to your phone? because Instagram is still not available online to upload photos or videos. So what you do, either use Google Drive, even Gmail, or just the normal mailing app, or Dropbox. They're the ones I recommend because I know they work. That's now done, and you're good to go. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.